hook, value, hook. Those are the building blocks of an extremely watchable YouTube video. 99% of the biggest YouTubers use this format to create fantastic videos for their audiences. And guess what? You can steal it. Hi, I'm Yusuf, the brutally kind YouTube strategist, and today I'm teaching you the video format you can use for all of your content. Let's go! The intro hook. The title and thumbnail is what gets people to click, but in those first 10 seconds is when people decide to stay or leave. Someone clicks on your video, now you have to deliver. And an easy way to do that is to give them a hook in 10 seconds or less. Last week, I made a video showing how Mr. Beast uses 31 triggers in his intros to cement your attention span, all in 10 seconds or less. Check it out if you want a thorough breakdown of all the techniques that he uses for his intros. Let's define a hook something to grab people's attention, like a hook on a fishing pole when you're trying to catch some fishies. Why do you need a hook? It's a way to keep people watching. You don't always have to have a hook, like if you're telling an intriguing story where there's an intro and there's gonna be a big payoff at the end, you don't wanna spoil it. But with YouTube videos, generally speaking, it's a good thing to start a video with a hook so you get people interested right away. Now that you know what a hook is, let me tell you some ways that you can put some hooks into your videos Start with lots of energy, tons of enthusiasm. When people see that you care, they're gonna care too. An easy way to do this is to start off your video by yelling, which you see a lot of YouTubers do, especially in the gaming space, Roblox, Minecraft, younger audiences. I'm gonna survive for one million days in Minecraft. Okay, so Hazem, the owner of Please Donate, he made a Roblox obby that- And that's what Mr. Beast does. He starts by yelling at the camera. <laughs> We are currently surrounded by countless sharks. Maybe even a thousand. I don't think it's that many. You can show us something spectacular. Like if you're reviewing a supercar, start with lots of cool cuts showing the car or show us you driving it at a super speed. You can start off with an incredible moment. Like if you're playing a video game and it took you 400 tries to beat a boss, show us that awesome moment right at the beginning so we know that you beat him and then we can follow you along to see the struggle and how you overcame that boss. Use lots of fun camera angles. Get wild by telling us lines in different angles and switching it up and it makes us fun and it grabs our attention. It's like, whoa, how are you doing that? Wait, how did I, <laughs> where's that camera? I didn't know there was a camera there. <laughs> It locks us into every word you say when you're looking at different cameras and those cuts keeps our attention going. Speaking of cuts, even if you have one camera angle, use a lot of different techniques like punch-ins, zooms, put some sound effects, put some text on screen, get us visually interested right at the start of the video. Show us your graphical techniques. A more mellow way to have a hook at the intro of the video is to start by asking a question that intrigues us, that makes us wanna know the answer and you are gonna tell us that answer through the video. Those are just a handful of hooks to inspire you. Try some of those out for your videos to find out what you like, what your audience likes, and what that does for your retention. The middle full of value. So you got them with the intro hook, you have their attention. Now what do you do? Easy, you deliver on the promise of the hook and you do that by showering them with value. What do I mean by value? It's education or entertainment. With education, you teach people a new skill Skill, how to do something, some new knowledge that they did not know before. With entertainment, you engage with them emotionally, make them laugh, make them cry, gasp, and be amazed. Other more mellow forms of entertainment is sharing a story, a personal struggle that you had and how you overcame it. Being educational or entertaining is a great way to be a YouTuber. But I'm not here to teach you how to be a great YouTuber. I want you to be the greatest. You have to educate and entertain in your videos, both of them combined. That's what all the biggest YouTubers do. They combine education and entertainment. Let's go back to the building blocks analogy. The first part of your video is an intro hook. So this is the intro hook block. In the middle, we have our value block. Look at it closely. Inside of it, you'll see duo blocks of education and entertainment all throughout. Why are there duo blocks? Because every time you share something educational, you wanna follow it up 
by being entertaining or vice versa. Now, how do you do this? Hang tight. I'm going to make a video showcasing to you how you can combine entertainment and education with everything you talk about by showing an example of Bill and I, the science guy. That video is going to be coming up hopefully in the next couple of weeks. So subscribe if you want to check it out. The ending hook. You're giving an amazing amount of value to the viewer. They're smarter, maybe they feel better, or they have become a better person because of your video. Now you're at the end, and this is when you plop down the ending hook block. A simple way to have an ending hook is to ask people to like, comment, or subscribe. Quick tip though, don't ask people to like, comment, or subscribe before you give them value. First, give them a ton of value, teach them something, make them feel amazing. Once you have given them value, that's when you can ask for something back. I see way too many YouTubers starting their video or in the intro asking for people to like, comment, or subscribe. You haven't shown them who you are, your personality, or given them value yet. Why would they like, comment, or subscribe just then? Anyway, as I said, you can keep it simple with the ending hook to get them to do something to interact just ask them to like, comment, or subscribe. Or you can do something strategically smarter by giving them value when you ask for something. For example, if it's a fitness video and you just show them a mid-level exercise, you can tell them the beginner level exercise is in a video that you created last week, go check it out. Or you can entice them to subscribe by telling them that the next level exercise is coming next week. If they don't wanna miss it, they gotta subscribe and ring the notification bell. And and this is pretty seamless because they just watch your video, they got the middle level exercise, they want the next level and they want it from you because they like you. It's a very simple idea. So what you wanna do is you wanna lead them to your other videos. And the idea behind it is you wanna give the viewer even more value. You wanna suffocate them with the value. Give them so much value to the point that they desire to like, comment, or subscribe. It's like they feel bad if they don't subscribe to your channel. That's the smart strategic way to do it. Value, baby. Conclusion. The format for every one of your videos should look like this. Intro hook, middle full of value, ending hook. These are the building blocks that create successful YouTube videos. And I want you to steal this format for every single one of your YouTube videos. Give people so much value, get them to watch, like, comment, and subscribe, and you will get what you want. Speaking of making awesome YouTube videos, do you need help creating them? Then you need a YouTube strategist like me. I help channels optimize their content, thrive and grow an audience that cares. Whether you're just getting started on YouTube or you're a seasoned creator, maybe you're a solo creator, maybe you're a business. I help people of all levels and all types of organizations create a strategy that works. If you're interested, check out my website and you can read the reviews of what people think of my strategy sessions. Spoiler alert, they all love it. Link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Now go out there and use this awesome video format of the building blocks hook value hook to create super awesome videos.